So far, our application is working great, but we're only rendering some content. What would be really nice is if we had a better way to handle user interactions, and that's what we're going to take a look at in this lecture. We're going to cover quite a bit of content. Don't worry if you don't fully grasp everything at first. We're going to see this repeated over and over again throughout the rest of the section and also during our projects, so don't worry too much. Our goal is going to be create a button, handle some events, and then increment some data. So let's go ahead and give that a try. The first thing I'm going to do is create a button in here, and this is going to be how we interact with our application. I'm going to give it a label of increment, and we're just going to increment a value, in this case, a variable called count. Let's go ahead and create that variable now, and I'm actually going to delete this line here. We don't need this one anymore. We're going to replace the message variable with count, and we're going to initialize this one to zero, and our goal is going to be clicking this button, incrementing this count, and updating the user interface. If we save this one off, we can see we're now getting a button that says increment, it is very small, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. The next thing we're going to do is render this count. We've already seen how to do this, but let's go ahead and see it again. I'm going to create a new paragraph tag, and we're just going to use string interpolation to render our count. We're now successfully rendering our count, and the next step is going to be incrementing it. If you've done some JavaScript before, you may recognize something like this. You create an on-click event, and when we call this, we're going to call a function. In this case, we might call it something like increment, and view is going to work very similar. There's just a slight difference in syntax. The first thing we're going to do is change on, on click to be v hyphen on click. This is how you handle events in view using v on. The next thing we're going to do is leave this exactly the same. It's going to work just fine, but we are going to have to declare this method. So far, we've seen two options, the template option and the data option. We're going to see another option now, and that is going to be methods. Inside of here, we're going to declare all of the methods we use in our template. In this case, we're going to have the increment method. It's going to go ahead and increment the count. And the way we do this is by saying this.count. So by saying this, you can access anything on the data variable. In this case, we're going to go ahead and grab count. And in this case, we're just going to increase it by one. Let's go ahead and give this one a try. If we head back to the browser and click on increment, we can see this number is now incrementing and we're seeing some of the magic of Vue.js here. One thing we didn't do is update this manually. It's updated automatically via reactivity. Anything inside a data is going to be reactive, and whenever you change it, such as through a method, it's going to change the value, and it's also going to update the DOM automatically. Pretty nice. This is going to save you the effort of manipulating the DOM manually, which is very buggy and error prone. Now that we've seen this one working, we're going to see how you can pass an argument, and it's exactly how you would expect you can just pass a value in here. That's going to be received as the first argument down here, for example, val, and then we can just go ahead and add it on. And if everything is working correctly, we should be incrementing by five, and that is going to work just fine. There is one more nice feature view is going to give you, and you can actually omit the brackets or the parentheses if you're not going to have any arguments. For example, if we go ahead and revert this back to one, come up here, we can actually remove these brackets here, and view is going to figure out this is a method and it needs to be called. Let's go ahead and give it a try. And we can see that is still working. It's a little bit more concise and a little bit more readable. Definitely a good place to be. We have covered a lot of content in this lecture. Don't worry if you didn't fully grasp everything. We are going to see it many times throughout the rest of the course. We're going to continue into the next lecture and start seeing some more features. I'll see you there.